guys, welcome back to my channel. Right now, you are watching Twiggy Makeup Therapy. So if you have followed the past episode, you know that this is not a normal surrounding for me to record and make a video, especially with all those like environmental sound. Guess where I am right now? So right now, I am at the outside. Those fire escape staircases of my apartment. And I'll show you guys the surrounding because right now it's like the sunset time. Look at how beautiful this is, right? So I was just thinking, why not create this makeup outside and get some inspiration from the surrounding? Even if I have like environmental sun, that's okay. Because right now it's the sunset time, I decided to create a sunset makeup look for today's video. I'm being, I love, it's beautiful outside. All right, how's this setting? Can you tell that I am the fire escape of my apartment? And you can also hear all those kids are playing basketball. I think that's really interesting, so... Without further ado, let's head straight to the makeup today. I'm pretty much looking at the sunset right now and trying to create this look. So first I'm gonna use the this palette. As you can tell, it's very old now, but it's the ColourPop Yes Please. This is a very good palette for to create like the sunset look. So I'm gonna start with the yellow. Um, the only downside of doing a makeup outside is that it's a little bit cold. My hands are freezing. I love the environmental sound. This is so New York. I just hope right now there could be like an ambulance pass by, you know. Of course, I, I, I don't wish that somebody gets hurt, but you know, the, the sounds of the ambulance is just so New York. You know, one of my philosophy, either is with makeup or with life, is use what you have and make the best out of it. So this is a perfect example. How could I never sort of use this like fire escape to, to use it like a background to do the makeup thing? This is so interesting. Now right now, let's build up this little bit like orange tone of the sunset. So beautiful. As you can see, you can see I've used a lot of this color. This color is great. So building from the outside corner and to the inside, but like leave a little bit space in, in the middle. Okay, can't really tell. Ooh, this color is strong. So let's blend that. Okay, you see right now it's less intense. And also like from the... Okay, now no, no. Just a little bit from the inside of the corner. To so this eyes, I'm gonna change the game a little bit. So I'd like to say this is like the sun and like just gradually have like a little bit layer outside here and use the yellow like the remain yellow to blink the edges a little bit like softer in the edges and <gasps> oh my god my eyelash pro just fell down oh my freaking god I guess that's the downside of recording this outside, right? That's okay. <laughs> so let's apply. So this one has like a champagne one. So I would like to have this in the center. Actually, I would like to have a little bit red. And so on this side, I'd like to have a little bit different. Let's do this yellow under this eyelid here. This gold. Blend it. And also a little bit gold here. I would like to build from yesterday's technique, add the like little lines here. Use this as a blush, as I always talked about. Add it a little bit here. All right, guys, we're down for today. Oh my God, look at Manhattan. 
Look at this view. Oh my god, so beautiful. Look at this like golden tear sunset makeup. And this is Manhattan. My makeup today matches with all those like city lights here as well. So this is so beautiful. I think I should use this setting more often, you know? This is very New York and this is one of the the fire escape is one of the things I was really looking forward to before coming to New York. So I'll see you guys on Twiggy Makeup Therapy episode 11. Bye!